Too bad. I figure you guys out here busting top water again would be somewhere close. It's not bad. I'm gonna hold on to them, let them go later on. So I can get pictures and measurements. Help them get back out there because they're still busting top, chasing these shads around. I think it's breeding season for this shads out here. I'm not 100% sure. But I am 100% sure these bad boys are really not locating next to the bank. They're more out here in open water. And that guy just nailed it like he was a monster. And I'm just kind of fishing a weightless worm Bright color. See here, um, white green. Just something to draw their attention on top of the water. I don't think they really pick about what it looked like, as long as they can see it. Oh, I missed him. Ah, oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. That was a good one. Oh man, he took me good. Look at that. Ah, get back out there. Oh man, he really ripped that one pretty good. I gotta redo. He really ripped that worm in half. I'm gonna try to salvage it. Yeah, call me stingy. Yeah, I'm stingy. We're gonna call it poor po folks fishing. But it is what it is. Uh, since I'm kind of weightless and not really concerned about the hook being embedded, my skin hooked. Super flute. Yes. Yes. Come on, baby. 
Ah, yeah, these are nice ones. Ah. <clears throat> right in the roof of the mouth, guys, swinging. Yeah, got it. <laughs> oh, let's see what we got here. Oh, look at that. Right in the roof of the mouth, just like it's supposed to. Smoke gray super flu. Yep, that was a ticket. Not bad. Alrighty. Right, add them to the collection for pictures later on. Oh. Man, he smoked that bad boy. I just got a strike off of it. The first cast. And I thought it was a <laughs> fluke. And boy, he came back and nailed it. Skin hook to keep him straight. So, trying to fish the bank at an angle because I do know bass don't like to be hemmed up. They want to be able to get back to deep water just in case. So, I try not to put my boat between them and deep water. Still holding. Ah. In the drop, drop off. Or the flats right close to drop offs. Oh man, he's a flat boy down in the grass and everything. Look at that. It's pretty good. Yep. Still fishing. Top water. Yes, he will be released. Just trying to get a good sack before way in. And see that the pattern holds. So, I'm basically fishing a pattern that I should learn from the pros. And, um, I gotta say thanks to those guys, man, because it's actually really true. You know, you get a big body of water like this and you let it overwhelm you. Look at that, he actually tore that flute. I'm gonna still use it. I don't, I don't have any more wide gap hooks. I'm stuck to using the worm hooks. And I'm just about out of flukes. So I gotta make them count. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, but it's holding to the same pattern. And pretty much, I look for the stained water. It's a lot of clear water here. And I look for the bank that's being hit by the wind and the water's most stained. And they seem to be gathered up in there like nobody's business. Dude, dude. Dude. <laughs> I am crumped like a Chevy. Whoa. Come on.